In this tutorial, I'll introduce the basics of the arbitrary waveform generator, often called the AWG or just the waveform generator. This instrument is typically used to provide time varying voltages to a circuit. Voltages and currents in a circuit are categorized as being either constant or time varying. The arbitrary waveform generator can be used to apply a wide range of time varying or constant voltages to our circuits. For the most part, the voltages provided will be periodic, meaning that they repeat themselves at regular intervals. The waveform generator has two channels. Channel 1 is accessed via the W1 terminal. Its physical connector is the yellow wire on the flywire connector. Channel 2 is accessed via the W2 terminal. Its physical connector is the yellow wire with a white stripe. As with the supplies instrument, the applied voltages are relative to the device's internal ground, which can be accessed by any of the black wires on the flywire connector. Before we get into some of the more specific features, let's take a quick look at the main options on the waveform generator. To open the waveform generator, click on the WaveGen icon on the welcome window. This row of icons allows you to control which channels are being used. In the Channels drop-down menu, choose the channels you want. The waveform generator can control not only the two waveform channels, W1 and W2, but also the positive and negative voltages in the supplies instrument, V plus and V minus. The Run All button turns on all of your open instruments. This menu lets you control whether the various channels are synchronized with one another or whether they're independent. Each channel has a window in which you can set up the signal you want to create. The characteristics of the signal include its frequency, amplitude, and offset. Before we go on to create the signals in the individual channel windows, I'll first define the basic parameters and terms to define these signals. Parameters, such as voltage or current, which vary with time, are called signals. Waveform generators create what are called periodic signals. That just means that the shape of the signal repeats itself at a regular interval. For example, this is a periodic signal. It takes this amount of time for the signal to repeat itself. The period is generally denoted by a capital T. There are a number of terms which are commonly used when generating signals using a waveform generator. I'll define those based on this simple square wave shown here, but the definitions hold regardless of the specific wave shape. The frequency of a signal is the inverse of the period. Frequency is the rate at which the signal repeats itself. Units of frequency are hertz, which is the same as cycles per second. For example, if we have a waveform with a period of a half a second, the frequency is 2 hertz because it repeats itself twice in one second. The offset of a signal is its average value. It simply moves the entire signal up or down along the vertical axis. The amplitude of the signal is the vertical distance between the average value and the peak value. This is the circuit we'll use for this example. The applied voltage is provided by channel 1 of the waveform generator, this yellow wire. This is a 100 ohm resistor and this is an LED. Ground is connected here to complete the circuit. Now let's apply some time varying voltage to the LED with our waveform generator. Now we'll use the waveform generator to make the LED in our circuit flicker. To do this, I'll apply a square wave with a frequency of 1 hertz and an amplitude that goes from negative 4 volts to positive 4 volts to the LED. To create our signal, click on the signal type and select square. To get a frequency of 1 hertz, set the frequency to 1 hertz. I'll use the drop down menu and the amplitude to 4 volts. 4 volts isn't on the drop-down menu, so I can just type the value I want and press enter. We'll leave the offset at 0 volts so that the signal alternates between positive 4 volts and negative 4 volts. Now double check our settings against the preview of the waveform. 
the maximum value is 4 volts and the minimum value is negative 4 volts. The average value is 0 volts, which agrees with our offset value. The voltage is high for a half a second and low for a half a second. So the frequency of the signal is 1 hertz. To apply power, click on Run. The LED seems to be flickering at the correct rate. You can easily change the rate at which the LED flickers by changing the frequency of the applied square wave. Finally, I want to talk about the Run and Enable boxes on the waveform generator controls. They are both important when you apply power to a circuit. You can turn the waveform generator power on and off with the Run button and the Enable checkbox. These two have slightly different roles that are probably not immediately apparent. The differences are based on whether the signal has an offset or a non-zero average value or not. Roughly speaking, the Enable and Run features let you isolate the offset from the time varying waveform. If the waveform generator is off and you click on the Run button, the Enable box will become automatically checked. Then both the offset and the time varying signal will be applied to your circuit. However, if the waveform generator is off and you check the enable box, only the offset or the constant part of the waveform is applied to the circuit. If the waveform generator is running and you want to turn it off, clicking on stop only turns off the time varying part of the signal. Any constant values will still be applied to the circuit. To completely turn off power to your circuit, you have to deselect the enable box after clicking stop. Alternately, if you deselect the enable box, that will turn off both the time varying and constant portions of the circuit.